Hey, what is up, people, and welcome back to Rachel Tech. Um, today, I am actually going to be teaching you guys how to add a live subscriber account to either your videos or live chat using OBS Studio. So, I'm not using Streamlabs OBS, but if you have Streamlabs OBS, it will be the exact same process, as they are both pretty much the same thing. But you will find things in different places, so I can't really tell you where to find things. Alright, so first thing I just wanted to say thank you guys for 50 subscribers. Um, we already have 54, so that's awesome. Alright, so click on the top link in the description and it will take you to a website called livecounts.com. I O. Now, here's the thing. A couple years ago, YouTube used to offer live subscriber accounts that you can add it to videos or live streams. However, YouTube disabled that after the James Charles scandal, which I will go over really briefly. Basically, there's a YouTuber with about 25 million subscribers named James Charles, and he is a makeup artist. And he was live streaming and people thought it would be fun to just unsubscribe from him. He was losing millions of subscribers at a time. And since then YouTube has removed the ability to see the exact amount of subscribers on YouTube and SocialBlade.com, which is a YouTube approved website, does not let you see live subscriber counts either. So the only way to find live subscriber counts is through third party websites. I looked far and wide. I found some non secure websites that were offering weird pop ups. Um, I finally found the right one. This thing is perfect. So basically, what you're going to want to do is after clicking on the link in the description, you are going to see this page. So scroll down hit YouTube live subscriber count and then type in your channel name so I am Rachel Tech once you have that in select your channel and then it will show this so once you have this you are going to go ahead and open up OBS Studio and in OBS Studio you should already have either a display or window capture already set up but if you do not have that set up you're just going to click the plus button and click either display capture which will capture your entire screen or window capture which will capture a specific window in your browser or a specific app um, and once you have that down, you're going to add a browser. So click the plus button, then click browser. Then you are going to get that. Click OK, and then you are going to go back to live counts and select and copy and paste that over here. I also find it super helpful to resize these to 1000 each. And click OK. And because I didn't actually save the link, it's just showing this. But, so basically, yeah. That would basically be what you would do. And then you would basically just resize it. And it should show that window, and you could resize it according to your stream. Um, you can also add an image, which I have over here. Um, you know, under, you could see the purple stuff. So that's my image. So you can use that for, like, a live stream. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this quick tutorial, it was very quick today, please Leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. And I will be seeing you guys very soon. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.